back to another big episode halftime tv viewers and subscribers and today we'll be talking about the 100 meters for the national championship this one comes up this weekend um friday to be precise friday at 8 40 p.m we will be sitting down and we will be watching the finals of the 100 meters for women let's hope our favorites are lining up and let's hope all goes well shelly and fraser price there were rumors that she possibly will not be competing the double at the national trials um we we receive information to 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 conflict those rumors and her coach in addition to the starting list the entry list um ha, have both pointed to her competing in the 100 meters as well now we know shelly doesn't have to 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 line up in the 100 meters because she is in fact the defending champion and the defending champion gets a wild card entry but this would be good preparation for shelly going into the world championship on the back of that performance in paris last week i think her her tail will be in the air and she will be relishing the opportunity to to build on that big performance that she put on last week and elaine thompson here will be there as well sharika jackson she will be there brianna williams um, as a matter of fact we'll have six women who've already gone below 11 seconds this season shelly and fraser price um she's gone below 11 seconds more than anyone else in the pack as a matter of fact more than anyone else on earth and she will go into this one as one of the, the the favorites one of the key contenders now i'm curious to hear who you guys think will acquire the remaining places because the the, the natural choice will be one two three elaine thompson here shelly and fraser price and sharika jackson in no particular order but who do you think will cop the remaining places for the world championship please leave it in the comment section until next time